it looks like you're enjoying enjoying your football back on the central coast. I mean, is, is that the case? Yeah, definitely. Um, Central Coast is home for me now, so it was good to sort of come back and be back at this club after three years away. Um, so, yeah, loving football at the moment. And then, obviously, it, it is a F3 derby. These are always big, and you mentioned the, the context. Is there an extra bit of spice to it in terms of they're always pretty fiery, but when you've got a final spot on the line, I imagine it, it kicks up another notch. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I think they're five points behind now. we got a game in hand on MacArthur, so, you know, three points gets us into that top six spot. Um, as you said, they're always fiery, you know, to Derby, so um, that on top of it is, um, you know, extra, extra special and, like you said, in a, a bigger game than normal. <laughs> if someone else wants to jump in. Yeah, g'day, Storm. It's Ben from uh, Channel 10. Could you think of a more annoying opponent as you're trying to get into the finals, your noisy neighbours? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, like I just said, it's, uh, you know, it's always a good game against them, the, the derby, and, um, you know, probably make it extra special if we get the three points and sort of knock them out of contention and, and put us into the top top six. Um, it's always fiery, and, I'm you know, I'm sure it's going to put that extra spice on, on the game tomorrow with, uh, you know, the stakes being so high. Yeah, and how's your side keeping balance? Because, I mean, it, the season's been up and down for pretty much all of the teams, but you win 5-0, you lose 5-0 one week, then you come back and win 4-0. Um, how do you, do you look for that even keel? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's been the pattern all around the league. You've seen, you know, a lot of teams, you know, after we beat, beat Wellington 5-0, um, they came back and won 4-1 the next game, you know. It's, it's been a bit like that all season. Um, I guess it's just, you know, one of them seasons that you look at even the top six race, everyone's sort of pretty pretty even. I think there's two, two three points separating everyone from, from fourth to, you know, eighth spot. So um, it's been an up and down season, like you said. So, you know, we, we've had the sort of consistency over the last eight games, um, you know, minus that one, that one setback against Sydney. So we just need to keep that going for the, for the uh, last four games and hopefully into the finals. Yeah, that's right. And um, I mean, how pleased were you with, with, with a clean sheet above everything else against Wellington and Mark Birigidi as well, who's having a great season, um, would have been happy to bounce back with the defence? Yeah, 100%. You know, as a defender, that's what you pride yourself on. You pride yourself on clean sheets and keeping out goals. And, you know, obviously, as you said, Beers has been unbelievable this season. He's been the, been the best goalkeeper in the league by a mile, I think. So, um, yeah, you know, clean sheets win your games. We've got the strike force to get, get a couple of goals every game. You know, we've got a really good attacking line. Um, so if we do our job at the back, we know that they're going to do theirs up front. The Wanderers just beat the Jets and it looked like they uh, kind of met, managed to keep Daniel Pena fairly quiet, uh, at least in the first half anyway. Um, that's obviously a big part of their team, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's a massive weapon, you know. We're obviously going to be focused on him in the in the video and build up for, before the game, you know, how to sort of keep him quiet. Um, uh, he's probably the, the best playmaker, so yeah, we're going to have to keep wraps on him if we want to get the three points. Sweet. And what do you make of Jacob Farrell? I mean, he's um, just started this year and hasn't, I don't even think he's missed a game. Yeah. Uh, good, young, strong player, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I could see that as soon as I came here in the preseason that he was something special and he's proved that this season. Um, you know, probably his consistency has been the best thing. You know, he's, he's rarely had a bad game if, if he's had any at, at, at all. So, uh, and, you know, so the fact that it's his first uh, first season and he's managed to stay injury free and, and be able to play every game, that's a huge, huge bonus for him. And, you know, hopefully he just keeps kicking on. Yeah, he scored the winner in the in your first match, which was the derby as well, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, how many goals do you think wins this one? I think it should be tight, tight, tight game. You know, there's, you know, you say there's a lot to lose, but there's a lot to gain as well. Um, you never know with these games. I mean, the season's been crazy, as I said. You know, we're winning games four nil, five nil, and then some teams have been losing the next week four nil, five nil. So it's hard to tell. Um, I know it's going to be a very close game, though. You know, both sides have, a, you know, that top six, top six, we're all going for it. So um, it should be a, should be a really good one.